Hello out there. This is DZ, your overlord, Desiran, and welcome back to Seven Days a Skeptic. <laughs> okay, so we're back in again. Um, okay, so I did a few tries on this and finally got it. So, uh, here's the one error. So, it is it is the date of birth. However, two little things. Uh, one, uh, well, one, I was right because um, it is the date, month, and then year. And two, uh, we go with 28 July... But we go with zero, no, zero seven, because uh, the last two digits are just thirty. Because if you think about it, like for a lot of things, like uh, you don't, we don't put in that we were born. Like, uh, well, I mean, yeah, you can, you can put in that you're born in like twenty twenty, say. So you just put twenty, but. You know what I mean? Like, you usually take off the first two for a lot of things. So, 280730. Whoop. Please enter the appropriate number. 1. Withdraw radio masks for 5 minutes. 2. Deactivate residential deck security. 3. the error. Uh, we want 2. Deactivate residential deck security. Residential deck security disabled. Uh, oh, whoops. Exit. Okay. We're good. We should be able to get into that room now. Actually, we should be able to get into both rooms. If I wanted to go into the other room. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's just... Let's... Odd, it still won't open. It must be jammed. That's weird. Oh god, William, what have you done? There's the access card. Let's get out of here. What the fuck? Look. It's Serena's head. It's still wearing her glasses. I think I'm going to throw up. It looks like someone's been trying to stitch a body together from the parts of three different people. There's something on it. Looks like part of a leg. What in the f... There are severed limbs hanging from the top mattress. There's been some very precise work done here. There are a few very carefully removed internal organs sitting on the top. Oh, dear God. We can't... No? Not gonna let us? Okay. Um, you have the access card, right? Yes, you do. Okay. Why the hell would William do this? What the frig? Okay. Oh wait, no, that's not the right room. Wrong room. This one. Adam? Please tell me... I've got it. I got the security card. Great, give it here. You should have seen William's room. It was... Uh, body parts on every surface, blood all over the floor. Oh God, please, let's just forget it. I didn't think William could be capable of such a thing. What other explanation is there? That locker. There was something evil in that locker, I know it. Oh, come off it, John. There was nothing in that locker but... 
but what? No, you were going to say something. Nothing. What was in the box, Adam? I can't, John. You opened the box. I'm so sorry, John. Why? I had this awful dream. Something in the box had killed us all. And when I woke up, I was so terrified. I just had to get a look inside the box, make sure it was harmless. I just couldn't have slept before I did. What was in it, Adam? That's the weird thing. No human remains at all. There was a welding mask, a leather apron, and a machete. And a funny little wooden doll thing. There was this letter lying on top of it all. To whom it may concern. If you're reading this and the box has been opened, then you must understand that you are in extreme danger. Immediately after reading this letter, seal the box shut again and flush it back into space. Well, all right, too late for us to do that. The evil must not be released upon mankind again. At time of writing, I am an agent of the joint MI5-MI6 operation called the Special Talent Project. Details of my post sh here should be on record with the British Secret Service. My real name is classified information by my own request. I am commonly known as Trilby. Oh, great. In the year 1993, when I was a cat burglar, I was intimately involved in what became known as the Defoe Manor Incident. I, along with Simone Taylor, James Fowler, Philip Hardy, and a man called AJ, found ourselves trapped in Defoe Manor at the mercy of a wraith. After five days and the deaths of AJ and Hardy, I was able to identify the ghost as that of Sir Roderick Defoe's retarded son, whom I later named John Defoe for the sake of convenience. I was able to exercise the spirit with the assistance of Taylor and Fowler, and Defoe Manor was destroyed by fire. I returned to my thieving lifestyle, confident that John Defoe was at peace. In 1995, I was apprehended by the authorities and in return for amnesty was offered the opportunity to lend my services to the government. I took a position as a field agent in the Special Talent Project. Oh. In the early months of 1997, I was brought news that Simone Taylor had been murdered in her home by an assailant wielding a large slashing weapon. Sensing a connection, I immediately began my own investigations into activity around Defoe Manor. Oh, great. It was as I had suspected. Looters and trophy hunters had discovered the idol intact in the ruins of the mansion, and it was constantly changing hands in the antique network. Oh dear. The idol was a crude African trinket picked up by Sir Roderick on one of his many adventures in 19th century Africa. When Sir Roderick used it to beat his unwanted son to death, it became the vessel for John's confused soul. What? In the mansion, merely touching the idol would cause a person to be possessed by the wraith, mindlessly murdering everyone they encountered for as long as the possession lasted, usually a couple of hours. Oh, great. Calling in some favors, I had the idol brought to me, heavily sealed in protective casing. It had to be destroyed. That much was clear. I considered burning it, but I deemed that too risky. The evil could have remained in the ashes, spread out over a wider area. I realized then that mankind would never be safe as long as any trace of John Defoe remained on Earth. Fortunately, an unmanned space probe is, is to be launched in September of this year, assigned to explore the outer regions of the solar system. Oh, so you decided to chuck it into space. I have placed all of John Defoe's artifacts in a metal coffin and persuaded NASA to send it off into space with the probe. Well, all right then. Well, that explains why it's here. As soon as I have finished this letter, I will seal it into the coffin with everything else and have the package shipped to Cape Canaveral. I remain confident that this will ensure that John Defoe remains exiled from the human race for the rest of time. However, the fact that you are reading and presumably understanding this document indicates that my confidence was misplaced. Please, no matter what year it is or how advanced you believe you are, do not attempt to combat John Defoe. He cannot be destroyed by conventional means or reasoned with on human terms. Oh, great. You must eject him back into space immediately and tell no one of your discovery. 
The lives of you and everyone you love are at stake. The decision you make now, you will have the decision you make now, you will have to live with forever. You read the letter? Why didn't you shoot the box back into space? I didn't think it was for real. And how would I have explained that to the captain? For God's sake, Adam. Besides, I didn't touch anything else in the box. I just closed the box, left everything how it was, and went back to bed. Do you really think I caused all this? No, Adam, I don't. Somehow I think that box would have found a way to get itself open somehow. What? Let's just get out of here. Here's, here's the access card. John, run! Oh! Oh! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Son of a bitch! Restart? Oh, God damn it! load. Oh, I didn't save! Oh, no! Captain. Two... Oh, whoops. Nope. Whoops. Nope. Two, eight, oh, seven, thirty. Uh, two. Okay. Exit. 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 Oh, my God. There. Well, crap. This is going to be annoying, to say the least. At least I get to skip through it. Right, and it said, odd, oh, it still won't open, must be jammed. Oh my. Oh god, here we go. William, what have you done? There's the access card. Let's get out of here. Okay. Right. So, I can look at all this stuff. I'm gonna do it just in case. Uh-huh. Chair. Uh-huh. Bunks. Uh-huh. Desk. Uh-huh. So, okay, wait, but... Does that mean the pod has already been ejected? So, basically, I mean, we essentially just opened an airlock, but... Okay, so I'm gonna save right here. Uh, uh, we're gonna save over DZ2. Save. Boom. Okay, open the door. Got it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Come on. Come on. Lever. Oh god. Okay. Saturday? Yeah, because seven days. Okay. So, what now, though? Oh! Um. How did we get here? What are you doing? Oh, good. You're awake. William. Or, what did you say, William? What are you doing? I wanted to be able to apologize. For. For what, William? I'm really sorry about this, John. If there were any other option, you know I'd take it. But he needs your body parts. We're so very nearly finished, and you'll be the last one. You forgive me, right, John? I... Of course I forgive you, William. I'm so glad. Abomination. <laughs> Look... 
It looks like that horrible thing William was putting together in his quarters, and it's almost complete. Uh, talk? Dr. Taylor? Yes, Dr. Somerset? Could you undo these straps, please? <laughs> I'm sorry, no. If I did that, you would run away. And he wouldn't like that. I promise I won't, won't, I won't run away. Do you honestly promise? Yes, of course. Hmm. No, I think the current arrangement would be simpler. Okay, hang on. I'm going to move my mic a little. Just so I can... Get a better look at the larger screen. Uh, okay. Who are you doing this for, William? The man from the box. He's been alone in space for so long. All he wants is a body to occupy. I said I would make one for him. I think John Defoe is trying to trick you. No, you've got him all wrong. He won't hurt me. And he promised he'd make my bad dreams go away. What did you do to the escape pod? Oh, that was easy enough. I jettisoned it and blocked the docking clamp sensor so the ship thought it was still there. I couldn't let the two of you leave when I still needed you. You killed Adam. Yes, I know. And I killed Serena and Barry. It was regrettable, but where else was I going to find him a body? But he didn't like either of those bodies. They were too weak, so I'm better. I'm building a better one from the parts. Uh, how will you explain this to the investigators? How will you explain this to the investigators? They'll be here tomorrow. He says the investigators won't be a problem. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Snap out of it, Doctor. Snap out of what? I'm doing exactly what I should be doing. He says I'm doing everything right. Never mind. Oh, okay. Uh, Tarak? I don't think so. Lunch? I don't think so. Uh, William? Talrail? I may need it. William, lunch. I may need it. Trolley. Look. It's a small medical trolley for holding and moving medical implements. <gasps> scalpel. Look. It's small. What? No, look at the scalpel. No, not the trolley. The scalpel. Small, delicately sterilized scalpel. I'm strapped in too tightly to reach. Can I use the towel rail? I don't think so. Uh, lunch? No. Kidney bowl? I don't think so. Can I do anything with the trolley? There's not much I can do with it. Now, I'm just going to give you a little injection, then you won't feel a thing. Uh, I'd rather you didn't... Game over. Well, shit. Okay. D my... What? Oh, my God. Come on. Okay. Okay. Skip. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, 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 skip. Skippy skip skippity skip 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 skippity skip 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 a roo skippity skippity bear 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 hush up skip 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 okay lever touch okay and we pass out 
Saturday. Okay, so can I save while this is going on? Uh, William? What are you doing? Oh good, you're awake. Okay. Okay. Um, well, hang on. Can I do anything? There's not much I can do with it. Tower rail. Don't think so. Talk to William. Dr. Taylor? Yes, doctor. Could you undo these straps, please? Who are you doing this for? I think John DeVoe is trying to trick you. I won't run away. Due to the escape pod, you killed Adam. How will you explain this to the investigators? Snap out of it. Uh, promise I won't run away. Er, never mind. Okay. I don't think so. So I have to do something with it. Um, can I save? I can. Okay. Uh, just in case, I'm going to save over to the first one. Because I don't want to get into a situation where I'm stuck. Okay, kidney bowl. Looks like kidney bowl. I'm strapped in too tightly to reach. I don't think so. Can I, like, okay, William, towel rack? I may need it. William, or trolley? Not much I can do with it. Towel rail? I don't think so. Tro eh, eh, don't think so. Push? No. Ah. Uh, uh, God damn it. God damn it. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm going to call it an episode here. It's a, it's a decent stopping point. So I'm going to stop here for now. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below. And check out links in the description for 7 Days of Skeptic if you do want to try it for yourself. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Also, check out links in the description for Vodka. They're a good friend of mine. Uh, they suggested, they requested, suggested, it's this true, that I play this entire series of games. It's only four games, so this is number two out of them. Um, and uh, they recently started their own YouTube channel. So go check them out. You won't regret it. Links in the description there for it. And in the next part, well, we'll figure out what the hell to do. Because I'm, I'm trying everything I can think of, and I don't know. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll see if we can get this figured out. Until then, though, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day. And I'll see ya. <laughs> ah! <laughs>